Ariba tequila, yeah, that's what we got today. Doing some easy tequila drinks coming up next. Hey there, everybody. If you are familiar with the channel, you know that I have been doing some different easy cocktails. I did vodka first, followed up with some rum. Today, it's tequila time. Tequila time. Um, I have this with me here. A Cuervo Traditional, not a Cuervo Gold, okay? This is the real deal stuff. It's 100% agave. Same with my Cabo Wabo that I have. And if you have tequila or you're buying tequila, you want to get that 100% agave. Anyway, enough of my spiel on what kind of tequila you should be going out and buying. This particular uh, video is all about easy cocktails. Something that you can make with easy to find ingredients. Something that is, you know, readily available. Ingredients that are readily available in the store. In fact, some that you may already have. So we're going to be doing three very quick, uh, very quick cocktails and hopefully you enjoy them. So for the first one, I am going to break out a cutting board and some limes. Got myself a couple nice limes. This one is going to involve a little bit of lime juice. So start off, cut up a nice little half of our lime. And you know what? I'll be fancy schmancy and garnish with some lime wheel. Although, you don't have to. You don't have to do that at all. Just something that I got the lime handy, why not? And I'm even going to cut a nice little wedge for one of my other upcoming drinks. So right there, boom, I just knocked out some easy stuff. One shot. This first drink is called a Mexican Mule. It's a play on the Moscow Mule, the very popular vodka style drink. And usually these are made in a copper cup. Now this is a copper cup with a uh, nickel lining. Say what you want, I don't care, okay? Most of the times they're served in a 100% pure copper cup. Uh, there are some myths that the lime juice in this drink does something with the copper inside, some kind of reaction, but I don't buy it. Don't care. All right, so the first thing we want to do is take this and fill it full of ice. A little bit of ice in there. Top it off. Perfect. All right, so this is a very simplistic drink. I want to start off with some tequila. I'm going to use a reposado tequila. Simply means rested. Stuff's been aged two months to a year. If you're curious on why it's called reposado. This, we're going to put two ounces. right into the copper mug. We're going to come behind that with some lime juice, which is why I cut my lime up. It's going to be a half an ounce of lime juice. Which one half of a lime should do just fine. Usually get about an ounce out of every lime. And that's also going to go right in there. Now what I'm using next is ginger beer. Now this particular is a diet ginger beer just because I got some other episodes I was filming and I have diet on hand. But uh, typically you're going to use something like a Barrett's ginger soda or even Gosling's regular ginger soda will work just fine. And we're going to top it. It should be anywhere from 4 to 6 ounces to top that. And uh, the next thing I like to do is just put a little lime garnish there on the side. Totally your, you know, your idea whether or not you want to do that. But that is how you make a Mexican mule. Very simplistic drink. Okay, on to the next. On to the next drink. This one is called the Salty Chihuahua. 
And again, another play on a vodka-based drink, uh, or I should say a vodka gin-based drink called the Salty Dog. Start off this with a glass. And this is actually going to get rimmed. Uh, I don't like to rim the whole glass, but typically what you do when you rim a glass is just take a lime wedge and run it along the outside. Now I'm only going to do half because I don't like to fully rim my glasses. And now we're going to take some salt. Now I got this cheap margarita salt that I got. You can use just a table salt, a kosher salt if you want. Uh, whatever does the trick. I like to run my finger along the inside of the glass because you don't want the salt actually inside. So you end up with something like that. Nice little salt rim on the outside. We're going to take a fill this full of ice. And be careful not to uh, not to load that to where you're knocking the salt inside the glass. This is a very simple one. We're going to take a Blanco tequila. Got my Cabo Wabo here. We're going to take two ounces of that. And that is going to go into the glass. First things first. And then we're going to take some grapefruit juice. Now, if you want to freshly squeeze it, that's always the best. But uh, if you're in a situation where you can't get a hold of grapefruit or you don't have any on hand, you always might have this grapefruit juice. And I like to get the uh, no coloring added, no sugar added grapefruit juice. And uh, pour that in. Just filling it the rest of the way. Again, it's going to be four to six ounces. This is one place where if you had a grapefruit and you wanted to garnish it with that, you could. Put a nice straw in there. Just give it a little quick stir with the straw. And you have yourself a salty chihuahua. Now, obviously, if you want to lick some of the salt, or if you want to drink out of the glass without a straw, that's a good idea as well. But uh, that is the cocktail. Without the salt, I don't know what you would call it, maybe a chihuahua. Without the salt, if it had gin, you would call it a greyhound. So I'll leave that choice up to you. So essentially, that's actually three different drinks, technically, that I'm showing you already. Final drink is called a tequila sunrise. I enjoy a tequila sunrise. They're colorful, they're cool looking, and delicious as well. Very easy. So you want to take a glass, fill it full of ice. So you have your glass. Very, very simple. We're going to do two ounces of a Blanco tequila. If you choose to do a Reposado, whatever, you can do that. But uh, I always use Blanco in these situations. Nice unaged tequila. Running dangerously low on that during quarantine and some orange juice obviously fresh squeezed is best but if you can get a not from concentrate something like this it's good as well I'll take that and now we're gonna fill this well I shouldn't say fill this we're going to almost fill this and leave a little bit of room at the top mm. I can smell the tequila it's just fantastic. Now, at this point we've made something called a hammer, which is a play on a vodka screwdriver. Uh, however, this is a tequila sunrise. So what's going to happen is we're going to use grenadine. Very easy to find. I recommend something besides roses, something like this that has... Uh, let me just say this. If the first ingredient is high fructose corn syrup, then you don't want to get it. Uh, this one here is cane sugar and pomegranate juice. So, in my case, I got this. Okay, so we want to take this, take a spoon, just put the spoon right up against and pour some grenadine in. What's going to happen, is because the grenadine's heavier, it's going to sink to the bottom. 
It's going to end up being about a half an ounce or so of grenadine in there. And uh, that is going to give this really cool appearance as you drink it of a sunrise. And that, of course, is where the name comes from. Tequila sunrise. You could do bourbon and have a Kentucky sunrise. Uh, just a lot of different options there. But that is how you make a tequila sunrise. So I'm going to bring these all back in. I got the tequila sunrise, like I said earlier. This is the salty chihuahua and the Mexican mule. Three cool drinks that you can try and hopefully enjoy during your free time. Very simple. You can make these at home without a ton of effort. So I'm interested to see what your thoughts are on it. What are some cool drinks that you make with tequila at home that are easy? Uh, I know Paloma is another good one. I've made a video on that that's been successful if you're interested. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Anywho, that's all for me today. I have some tequila to drink. So until next time, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Click down below, hit that subscribe button, the bell icon. That way you're notified anytime I post a new drink. So until next time, thank you for watching this. And remember that if this idiot can do it, so can you. Cheers.